Take a moment to look around you. Everything you're wearing, the building you're in, and the device you're watching this on are all made of different types of materials. Each of these materials has unique characteristics and serves different purposes. So what makes a material different from any other material? One thing you might think of is the type of atoms in the material. Atoms are the tiny bits of matter that make up everything around us. Atoms like carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen make up most of the materials in our bodies and other living things, whereas metals and minerals have atoms like iron, aluminum, and silicon. There's something else, though, that makes materials different from each other, even if they have the exact same type of atom, and that's the arrangement of their atoms. Let's take carbon, for example. Diamond and graphite, or pencil lead, are two types of carbon materials. They're both made entirely of carbon atoms, but the arrangement of atoms is different. In diamond, each carbon atom is connected to four other carbon atoms in a 3D structure, and that 3D structure makes diamonds extremely hard. In graphite, on the other hand, carbon atoms are connected to each other in flat sheets that are stacked on top of each other. The connections among carbon atoms in a sheet are very strong, but the sheets are held together relatively weakly. This is why when you rub a pencil on paper, it leaves a mark. This is caused by graphite sheets sliding and coming apart from each other. There are other types of carbon materials too. Cylinders of carbon atoms are called carbon nanotubes, and carbon nanotubes are among the strongest and most lightweight materials we know of to date. But even in carbon nanotubes, the arrangement of atoms can vary, making some carbon nanotubes conductive like metals, whereas others are not. So this brings me to my research. I'm working on developing new types of materials with new properties. The research group I'm a part of makes materials with hexagonal groups of carbon linked together in a circle, as shown here, and we call these carbon nanohoops. Carbon nanohoops are fluorescent, meaning they glow under UV light, and the color of light produced depends on how many hexagons of carbon atoms are in the hoop and exactly how they're connected. It's the same thing as before. Even though they're made of carbon atoms, a slight change in the arrangement of the atoms can have a big effect on the properties of the material. My work focuses on stringing these carbon uh, nanohoops together in long chains, as shown here. We can make these chains with one type of nanohoop, or use multiple types of nanohoops and change the order that they're in. In each case, the properties of the material are different. That may not come as much of a surprise to you based on what I've told you already. But the hope is, by making materials with arrangements of carbon atoms, Unlike any other material out there, that we can unlock new properties and uses that we never could have imagined were possible. Thank you.